When it comes to keeping chickens, having plenty of room is great, but it isn't necessarily everything. So if you are limited on space, then with just a little extra planning, you can still have a happy, healthy little flock. It is generally recommended that you have at least a metre squared or a yard squared per chicken, but even with this amount of space you can still end up with feather pecking if something is amiss. I have seen chickens in runs which easily provide the recommended amount of space and the whole flock has patches of bare red skin from all the feather pecking going on, and I don't mean bare backed hens from being mounted by a rooster regularly. Yet on the other hand I have raised chickens with less room and they have all been the picture of health. There are a variety of things that will cause feather pecking among chickens and as long as these are addressed you should be able to avert it. The most obvious one is probably lack of food or missing nutrients. Make sure all of your birds can easily access the food so that the more dominant ones don't hog it. One of the reasons I don't tend to use feeders is so that I can spread the food around the whole run giving all flock members access to it. Chickens love to scratch around for food anyway, so this also allows them to do what is in their nature. Having more than one water source can be helpful too. Make sure they are getting all the nutrients they need. Growing chicks need plenty of protein and laying hens will need a fair amount too. Feathers are protein rich, so they will eat them if they aren't getting enough from their diets. A chicken low on protein will even eat its own feathers so there is no wonder feather pecking occurs in an undernourished flock. Something laying hens will need is calcium, so it's a good idea to have a bowl of shell grit freely available. You won't need to spread this around as they will only have it when they need it. Try and provide various foods throughout the day. Besides giving them more variety, this will also provide a bit of entertainment value, as another reason for feather pecking is boredom. To stave off boredom, try and make sure your chickens can do what comes naturally to them. As I mentioned before, chickens love to scratch and dig, so if they have a concrete floor or something similar, you might want to provide loose litter for them to scratch through. If they have access to soil, make sure it doesn't get too compacted. If it does, then you can break it up with a gardening fork occasionally. Chucks love to dust bathe, and that's also important to keep them free of mites and lice. So make sure they have somewhere to do this. It could be just a dirt filled box large enough to fit a stretched out chicken. Chucks are curious in nature and love to investigate new things. If you have a mobile run, moving it to new ground will be exciting for them. If the run is static, then see what new things you can introduce. My flocks love it when I chuck in piles of something. It could be fresh straw, lawn clippings, weeds, leaf litter, or even excess soil from other parts of the garden. In their eyes, it's a potential opportunity for food as well as entertainment, and they'll have spread that pile in no time. All flocks have a pecking order, and someone has to be at the bottom, so it's a good idea to have somewhere where chucks can get out of the way a bit when things get too much. Often just getting up off the ground onto a roost is enough. If you do get feather pecking or an injury and there is red or blood showing, then that chicken should be removed safely until it is healed as the red will just draw attention and more pecking. If you can somehow isolate the injured one in something like a mesh pen within the run so that they can all still see each other but it keeps it out of the pecking range then that would be ideal as this keeps the flocks together and avoids reintroductions later. Like us, all chickens really need is to be well nourished, get plenty of time outdoors and have the chance to do what comes naturally. <laughs>